Macro Madness. All right, let's get in here. What do we got going here, guys? We got a lot of chatting up here. Hmm. We finally down and get down to that first macro shot by Middle DN. Uh, pretty nice, tight. It's a, it's a spider. Okay, we'll do it with the archive. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very very small little insect. Very nicely presented. Ah. Uh, I don't see any work here. Buses by electric electrographer. Uh, I'm not seeing the work here, electrographer. Can you see what I'm seeing here? Uh, that's not good. Let me know when you got it in, and I'll go up and give you a critique. So um, that that's all my machine is seeing. You might have a permissions uh, problem there. F11. That's cool. Now we're getting in and looking at something here that we don't get to see every day. These are. These are phone cables or, or uh, electronic cables. Um, and how many of you knew that there were a little, uh, little catch in here? That's kind of neat. We've got the little uh, the, the thing with the ball on the end. It looks like we got a little catch going on down there. So that's kind of neat. I like the lighting very much. We've got the little blue spray back here. We've got clean light all the way around this guy. Uh, we do have a very strong right on camera um, feel to this light right here. Which is accented a little bit by the um, the uh, cut. Uh, looks like there's a groove cut in these lines, or is that the uh, maybe that's the the specular? I can't tell. It looks pretty darn bright. So, uh, pretty good shot. Pretty pretty clean. I like this. Out if we know what this is down here, it's a cable, you know, bundler. We've seen these things before, uh, but everything else looks pretty good. Very interesting. Nicely done. No dust. And we got another bad image. Hmm. Going to refresh this page very quickly here. And see if we got some pictures that we didn't have before. And we go down here. We do, we do, we do. Okay, electrographer. We do. Um, I reloaded it. We got a little something else going on here. So this is kind of cool. Alien man talking to his pet. That's th this little guy right here. That's very cool. Nice catch. Very nice catch. The bee is nice. This is stunning. This is really, really cool. Uh, I don't know how big it is. I don't care how big it is. It's very cool. We've got neat colors and light. Uh, everything is open. Um, tells me it's probably pretty small. So we got light. You know, it doesn't take much light to go all the way around this thing. Um, you know being bounced from the uh, white uh, lily here so it looks it looks great that is that is a great shot it's a great clean shot we looked at that one and we got down here to a bendig adam gorgeous what a great way to show us something look at that that is um stunning it's just looks like it's a moonlight and a 40 okay so this is a uh, a buff uh, mood light I believe is a buff modifier um, makes a round it's a kind of a roundish light but look how gorgeous this cable looks in here and creates something that 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 we know not to be flat and yet you can't help but look and wonder you know is there where's the dimension here is it flat is it coiled is it what's going on here it's very cool Adam home run buddy that's that's cool Pondas Fonsographic. Dead flowers. I love dead flowers. I love dead flowers. Um, bounce the, the light off the ceiling. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Get some nice little highlights up on top. A nice feel all the way around to it. Now when we put it in color, we tend to see these things back here. Looks like a, a wall clock. Looks like maybe a painting. We got the pinks and things in here. We do it in black and white. Even those things are back there. We don't see them. We don't, or if we do see them, we just don't care. Um, I very much like the uh, that black and white there. Very cool. Tammy Bogstrin, there we go. Wilson. Golf balls are very hard to do, and you did a nice job with this. You got just a little bit of of specular instead of. Uh, I mean, I, when I usually when I see a softball. We got some specular about halfway through it and then some 
uh, diffuse and then a little bit of kicker coming from the other side so we can see the holes. You change it up a little bit, and that's fine. I think your best shot on here, though, um, Tammy, is is uh, this one right here. This is very pretty. Uh, I like your natural lighting board set up there so we can see what you're doing. This is very pretty. I love your very minimal depth of depth of field, and that works on that shot so well. Fred VF. All right, got some little crystal guys coming in very close. Fred, this is great lighting. We get to see all the crystals um, in here. It's a little, it's very modern. It's very point source lighting. We're not using look doesn't look to me like we're using a big soft light. Looks like there's some point source going on. Kind of looks like it's backlit to me because of the edges here are showing up and this little guy's here showing up but we're not getting any any flat reflection on these things so okay that that works um, let's look at your second second shot um, second shots a little confusing but that's sometimes what makes a macro shot pretty cool I see this thing here and I see some very cool light putting light back through these um, these uh, jewel type things really does uh, make a big difference. Very good. Zero neg. Wow. Very cool close-up shots. I love this. I have no idea what that is, but I love it. Maybe it's a uh, um, mouse or something, some sort of mouse or red light or something. I don't know what it is, zero neg, and that's what makes it cool. Got a nice highlight on the top. We got a nice roundness feeling to it. We got this reflected highlight here. And of course, this wonderful light that's flaring in from the left here makes the shot look very accessible uh, and very, very much fun. I have no idea what that is there. Um, but it's kind of a cool shot. That's what matters. So we have, as I see it, Cindy Cop. We've got Cindy Cop's beautiful. Um, close-up shots of fruit here this is great fruit and looks like a cotton or some sort of um, a bowl of uh, a little fuzzy something there Cindy I think that looks really great I love the light on this got these nice little black edges so that shows me negative uh, fill going on to the camera right and we got little glow images and that's telling me the lights coming through this orange here so we don't have a specular, so that the orange itself becomes the light source coming through the back. Um, yeah, that works quite well, Cindy. Quite well for sure. Let's get down to, and that's beautiful as well, as well as that. GKMB, don't know what this is. Love the patina here. I like how you got, you got a light on this side. And a light on this side and ventilator at my bicycle okay so it's super in tight it's not something we know and can easily recognize and that's what makes macro shots so much fun so very cool stapler that's interesting and a slice of cucumber a strawberry wow I love this cucumber shot that's very interesting super King is dead. All right. We've got the uh, shadow going off here. Uh, sharp shadow, which doesn't really make any sense with this. So it tells me that's photoshopped in. Otherwise, the shadow would be just as soft as that shadow. But uh, it does tell it does tell a story, doesn't it? Uh, light up both sides. Yeah, we did this. This guy here needs to be farther back here. So it's coming up this edge here. Be a little more sinister, a little more... Um, um, powerful to have it over there instead of having both these these uh, highlights running up here this one's nice and soft presents a nice soft specular this is nice and hard therefore I think I would bring it over here old number 76 very clean I would I would love it's in a 24 soft box it's above hmm See, it's got we got two lights here. I don't see two lights. I don't see what the second light's doing. What's the snoot doing here? Baron snoot camera right triggered. Huh. Too many lights, maybe. 
let's go with one to show that texture. I think we're getting rid of something's not working there. I don't see the second light and what it's supposed to be doing. Um, hmm. Okay, orchid heart, beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, gray backrooms, very backgrounds, very industrial, and that makes the pink pop pop out and feel more important. Very nice. RJG 329 is doing the water droplet shots. Okay. Nice. Uh, I, I like your pr uh, processing here. Uh, it's kind of like this is, you know, a shot that's been done to death a million times. But you're kind of showing me a little bit something different here with the three drops in a row here. And, of course, the very cool um, yeah, retro camera uh, version. Chris Dean. Yep. Chris, you did a nice job with it. You came in real tight on some very small objects, made a nice little still life, uh, almost like something you'd find in a, in, a, in a medical or a botanical, botanical type, botanical? Did I say botanical? Botanical type uh, book uh, talking about species. Or relationships but what's important to me is how beautifully it's lit we really do have some nice lighting and you get some sharp um, edges here on these looks like these are nuts and those have been peeled off uh, or, or nudged off but we got some nice sharp shadows under here and under here it helps give dimension to this stuff and a nice clean overall light I like your your specular here going a little bit dark on the side yeah very good uh, that's not what I meant to do, but we're back. Pine cones. Sketching with light. Yeah, sketching with the camera. Um, you know, the pine cone shot, I think the sketches are kind of cool. I, I really, really like this shot here. I really like it. Very good. I love the fact that you went out sketching with a camera that is absolutely something I hope everybody does because you'll find it so much fun to do. Could decide which of these two to post, says Ego F-Stop. Well, the top one. Um, there's some more going on here. Uh, I don't know if that's by design or if it's just the subject itself, but it just looks like there's so much more going on here. And this one is just kind of a, you know, it's kind of sitting there. It's an interesting close-up shot, but unless say, we had some sort of emotional involvement to it, it may just be um, just a macro shot. This has a very nice feel to it. We all recognize that, and we all recognize that it's a flower uh, and feel better about the photograph. I think I do anyway. Sea fray. Yes. What is that? It's that. I don't even know what that is. Let's see. Wild morals growing on the driveway. Okay. Very cool. And again, it's that's that's what you do. You show us something we die, we haven't seen before. I don't know what a moral is, and I don't know why they would want to grow on his sidewalk or in his on his driveway. That's just terrible, uh, terrible waste of a driveway not to have morals growing on it. But um, that's cool. Uh, depth of field is always always um, limited. We can't tell how big these pebbles are, so I have no idea how big this is. But that's very cool. Good job, C. Frey. Billy Curry. Ah, what is that? Small grasshopper. Ah, beautiful light here, Billy Curry. Great, great light. Great light uh, on this thing. This is such a uh, fantastic photograph. Excellent. Beautifully done. Uh, fly on the leaf. That's well done as well. Of course, I just hate flies, but... Um, that's very very well done. Uh, I like your like your post on this is very nice to keep those shadows up. So even if the wing of the fly goes into it, it doesn't go really really dark, which it could if we didn't process it right. AJ Hitch, uh, wow AJ, that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's a very close shot of a praying mantis. Very very close. What do I like about it? I like the way the shadows and the lights help give me dimension to this critter. Can you pause for one second? 
And so this uh, uh, very muted color back here really also pops this. And I don't know if that's uh, hand colored, uh, if you've reduced that light back, that color back there, but it really helps to stand out either way. Sefton photography. Cool. Making a design. This is what I call design photography. We make a design out of found objects or things that are not uh, normally design um, design elements. So we're using these uh, hex drives, uh, wrenches or whatever, and he's made a nice little thing here. I think the light, uh, we get in these shadows over here. If we're going to use the shadows, then we need to have more shadows. If we're not we're just already just gotta you know if 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 we're not going to see the shadows then we need better light a lot of black on these items here and really they're kind of white you know shiny we're, we're kind of missing we're getting a lot of black here because our light is kind of specular on the light michelle which one to critique i like them both uh, i like this uh this little um pill thing or whatever these little guys up here i think those are cool michelle um Lighting is beautiful on them. The design is nice. I think you brought all this right down to the front. That empty area there makes me makes me wonder what's supposed to go there. So uh, just be real careful about empty areas like that. Uh, this is so focused beautifully. These two are pretty cool. Um, everything's just such a nice color. But we do have that that, and I just I feel weird about that. This one gorgeous, absolutely lovely, lovely. Macros are cool, Damian Powell. Macros are cool. That's very, very interesting. Uh, looking at these little bugs here. These are sporophytes or whatever, clinging to a stone wall in a wider angle image. All right, that's very, that's very cool. This is nicely lit. Um, get these guys to light up against that background. They're kind of blending in a little bit right in here. This guy's lit up, but this is kind of blending in just a little bit. So. We get to see this. This is just beautiful. Look at the lovely light on this uh, rusty chain. As a macro, you can create so many, many photographs from one single um, object that you're doing because you're coming in so close, you're lighting it very close, you're really paying attention. And to go out and do things in light macro, you know, you take a couple of, you know, a couple of. Uh, um, note cards or um, you know uh, well what are those little uh, cards that you Rolodex type cards you know just take a couple of those and and bounce some light and you don't have to use a lot of power um, also beautiful black and white gorgeous in black and white that's uh, that's really really good really good I love it uh, it's Damien I love it that's really well thought out nicely constructed photographs beautiful light makes us really want to be a part of it nice Tracy Sutherland wow those are interesting Rice Krispies who knew huh who knew look at that Rice Krispies up close thank you Tracy this is exactly what I wanted people to do you explored something so close that we would if you hadn't said they were Rice Krispies I would never have guessed them in a million years. I would have guessed some sort of bug pod or, you know, eggs uh, eggs from a spider or something. Very cool. Blue Lace Daisy. Dying Daffodil. Yeah, I think this top one is your shot here, Blue Lace. I think that's the one that, 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 that captures my um, eye uh, more than the, uh, this one here. This is kind of, this is not bad, but this one's so strong. And, uh, you know, very well done. Look like spider legs emerging here. Got a nice feel of color around the center part with a, looks like a natural fade. I don't know if that's a vignette in Photoshop or a natural uh, fade, but it looks like natural fade. So uh, I'm going to go with that. And nicely uh, uh, done. Nicely created. Very good. Lola Lily takes pictures. Yes, she does. Beautiful Lola Lily this take pictures gorgeous love the the, um, the angle and the uh, uh, post-processing on this to bring out all that texture that's also a gorgeous shot get it and getting it in type and show tight and showing us stuff prankster Dave uh, using a um, phono jack 
little bitty tiny phono jack to light it up, make it look big, make it look impressive, make it look kind of kind of cool and and imposing. Uh, could be a nice background for a uh, brochure. You know, really, one of the things that we do in advertising is to try to catch people's eyes. And when one of the things that you can do to credit, to catch someone's eyes is to show them something they haven't seen before or make them want to look at it to figure it out. So this phono plug could be very, very effective. And I see, you can see how tiny it is right here. Very good. Chris Fisher, lighting into window light. I don't know what those are, Chris. Phone core and a camera left. I don't know what they are. I have no idea what they are, but whatever it is that they are, it's pretty cool. That's neat. Um, hmm. I don't know, but what you've done is you created a kind of nice little piece of art here in a way. We've got shapes and light and texture and uh, focus. Um, we've got uh, smooth texture that we did on this item here. We've got uh, distributed texture or what I would call diffused on here. We've got a lot of the same thing on this. Uh, it looks like corrugated something here. That's that's quite quite well done there, Chris. Quite, quite well done. Handsome. Henson has, I don't know what that is, Henson. Um, bubble wrap? Bubble wrap. Okay, mirror on sunlight, bare bulb in close processing in Lightroom. Okay, so this is in very, very close. And on the bug picture, all, all of the um, close-up lenses stacked together to get that bug picture. That's very cool. I love, I love this. I love how this is this is lighting this little area of the bug up. That's kind of cool. Um, very well done. Very well done, Melissa. This is sweet. Wow. Bubble wrap is cool. The other shots are also cool. Whitehawk. M. Whitehawk. Um, okay. Not... Not really a macro M Whitehawk, but certainly something that we're going to uh, accept as a very, very close, tight shot. Um, now, here's the thing. When we're in this close like this, a great sunlight, might want to think about bringing in a little file card or something to do a little bit of something here. I see we've got a gold reflector happening here, but it looks like it's so far away that it's, it's um, not reflecting back on this. It's just giving me the specular, and I'm thinking maybe I want more than a specular on it, especially on here. Um, what I want you to do is that on the, the, yeah, okay. What I want you to do to make this image come up to pro level with these little pieces of dust or scratches on this guy right here, you got to take them out. Just got to take them out. Make sure they're absolutely perfect. Suki B has got a beautiful photograph of a red um, rose. And she did it in red and black and white. Yeah, yeah, um, and I love the I love the way the tones work in the black and white. I do. Um, they work beautifully in the red, in the red one as well. The red one is all that color red, which I think was a great idea, um, Suki, by not coming in and. And letting letting the camera slip off the edge or go off and pick up grass or you know a branch or something just frame that rose so it's all that is seeing looks to me like the bottom one is cropped a little bit different than the top one yes looks like it's a little bit tighter uh, and I like it even more so there you go so can softbox camera right okay using a soft box on camera right well then what's up what's lighting up camera left sir got to have a card or something over here to light it up because we've got light right down to these edges here those are that's reflected light right through here so it needs something down there or it has something down there um, I like what you did with it very very cool very close shot of uh, uh, seashell Eric M. Uh, and I don't know what that is, Eric, but that's kind of cool. 
looks like some sort of circuit board or something and uh, got some cool light behind it these kinds of shots these macro shots are great ways to add to your portfolio especially if you're thinking about doing industrial or corporate uh, advertising anything like that you want to be able to show that you can put something really close in front of your uh, your camera now if you're going for advertising a real close shot of, of a, a bug may not be uh, workable for you but some design shots of wrenches or design shots of flowers might work real well for you excellent folks I think this is uh, was a good a good assignment thank you so much for being part of it